Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I've been wanting to do this video for a few days now. I have been a bit slack in giving you guys an update since egg collection. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll of course know the news and the outcome, I guess, of our fifth IVF stim cycle. Basically, we had our egg retrieval just over a week ago on Friday the 6th of September. Uh, and we received a phone call the next day on the Saturday to let us know our fertilization report. If you're new to this channel, our last IVF cycle in June, we had a total fertilization failure. So uh, out of the eight eggs collected in that cycle, four were mature and none of them fertilized with ICSI and IMSI. So that was a massive shock and uh, probably the worst, well, yeah, it was the worst IVF cycle we've had. Uh, this cycle, our fifth stim cycle, we had 18 eggs collected and 15 of those were mature and six fertilized. So it was still on the lower side of fertilization, um, but better than none. And we were pretty happy with that. Um, it was the first time we did a testicular biopsy, so they extracted the sperm surgically. Tim went under general anaesthetic uh, and he ended up having to have a couple of stitches out. Um, recovery wise, I'll get to that, but we were hopeful that we would get a different outcome and improved fertilization report um, because we did Tessie. So as I said, it wasn't as wonderful as we would have liked, but it wasn't as bad as none. Um, we were still thrilled to have fertilization and to have six. We were pretty happy with that. The embryologist did say to me that the sperm were twitching and I didn't really know. I took that as a negative thing, um, but I later realized after doing a bit of my own research that the sperm should be twitching, it's a sign that the sperm's alive. Then we had to wait till day four for the next update, which was Tuesday, last week, a week ago. And we were told that of the six that fertilized, one had created an extra set of chromosomes, so it was um, triploid embryo. They could tell because they use an embryo scope so they can see the progress of the embryo growth. On day four we had five embryos. Two were compacting which is what they want to see on day four. Two of them were partially compacted and one was at eight cells so looking more like a day three embryo so a day behind but still had a chance to catch up. Previous clinics had given us day three updates so we have had cycles look really good on day three and then on day five received really bad news. So, I mean, I was hopeful that the embryos looked like they were doing well and at the stage they should be at, so that was good. Uh, that was day four, and then we had to wait till day six to get the final update to find out how many embryos made it to freeze. <sighs> that day was, I was an anxious mess. Uh, I got a call at 3.30 in the afternoon to tell me that four embryos made it to freeze, which is amazing. Uh, I was not expecting that news at all. They were only able to biopsy three embryos. So three have been biopsied and sent off for PGS testing. Uh, we have to wait four weeks total for the results, so now three and a half weeks. Um, and then the fourth embryo was hatching but it was hatching the inner cell mass, which is the part of the embryo that forms the baby, so it wasn't safe to do a biopsy on that embryo. So it's going to be a bit of a wait the next few weeks. I hope, hope, hope the good news will keep coming. It was an amazing feeling to share good news on social media because I, it's always, I feel like I'm always sharing bad news. Um, you know, in the scheme of things, I said to Tim, it's a little hurdle that we should be celebrating, but I still feel like we've got so many hurdles in front of us still to overcome, but it's definitely a step forward and we just hope that they are viable embryos. I asked the embryologist on day six what gradings the embryos were. She didn't really want to tell me and she stressed to me that it's no reflection, the grades of the embryo is no reflection of the implantation potential of the embryo. It's merely 
to determine whether the embryo is suitable for freezing but she did let me know what the grades were so two of them were AA grades which is I believe the best you can get one of them is was BC and one of them CB so you know of course the grading means nothing if they're not viable we're just hoping that the embryos are chromosomally viable and we can tackle and decide what the next steps are. The most embryos we've ever had make it to freeze from one cycle is three. So to go from June, our worst IVF cycle ever, to our best, I mean hopefully the embryos are viable. I'm just, honestly, we're, we're very grateful. That's We're feeling grateful in this moment, grateful to have a chance. When I told Tim that they had biopsied three embryos, he said, oh, what were the results? And I said, we have to wait four weeks. And he just couldn't believe that we had to wait four weeks. Um, reminded him that waiting is what we do best. Waiting four weeks for results like that is not a fun thing to do but definitely staying distracted. Very busy with my book and doing final approvals of proofs and um, it's not far away from being printed which is very exciting. I'll be showing more updates and sneak peeks over on Instagram so keep your eyes peeled for those and I'll also be showing a trailer really soon for the book so um, looking forward to being able to share that with you guys and it's definitely a positive distraction in this very anxiety ridden time. Physically I was feeling really good post surgery, post retrieval, um, probably the best I've ever felt. No OHSS, no pain, I didn't need to take any pain medication, just slight twinges of aching in the ovaries for a few days after but nothing that I couldn't handle and Tim was amazing. He didn't take any pain medication whatsoever and was a trooper. Uh, he said he was in a little bit of pain but it wasn't unbearable. The surgery was on Friday, he went back to work on Monday so I mean considering he had stitches and he was cut open I was really worried he would have a long recovery and need time off work and things like that so it was a good outcome and I was happy that he wasn't in too much pain. Thanks so much for watching guys and for your continued thoughts and prayers and love. We have honestly, I say this all the time, but we feel so uplifted by your support and words of encouragement and we honestly are so grateful to have you guys by our side as we continue the quest to have our baby. Just continuing to take one step at a time and remaining hopeful. Thanks again guys. Love and baby dust and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.